Hi, welcome to this video. I'm going to give you a very quick overview of how I set everything up to use Camtasia to capture my PowerPoint presentations. And I'm doing this because a lot of people are asking me the best way to do it. So to start with, um, the screen capture that I'm doing, I've got my, <clears throat> my screen dimensions or my recording dimensions set up as 1280 by 720. And I'm doing this because that's um, one of the native HD formats. So it means I don't have to resize anything. I've got a, a, an HD format capture. I can take this all the way through my processing and produce an HD output video. I've put together um, a single slide PowerPoint presentation with a fairly bright theme just so that we can, we can better see it when we're doing all of our tests. And uh, I'm using here PowerPoint 2010. So let's just take a quick look at what happens when we play our PowerPoint. Okay, so this is less than ideal. Um, you can see that only a portion of the screen is actually being captured by the video. This is using the default settings in PowerPoint. So let's just run over a couple of very quick things. First thing is, in my design, in my page setup, you can see that I've got the slide sized for 16 to 9. Okay, this is a widescreen format. If you look at the drop down, there's, there's various things. The default is 4.3. You don't want that. You want 16.9 if you want to capture in high definition, particularly if you're working at the 1280 by 720 resolution that I recommend. The next thing that we need to do is come in here to slideshow and look at setup slideshow. By default, the show type is presented by speaker on a full screen. This is the problem that we're experiencing already. So we need to say browse by an individual in a window and click OK. If I now run it, okay, you can actually see it now inside the window. Now what you can't see um, inside this video that I'm capturing is the screen guides that are visible on my screen that Camtasia gives me. And uh, unfortunately, I can't capture Camtasia recording itself. So uh, you have to just trust me that I've got some um, little green corner marks at the moment. And before I start recording, I actually get a green dotted outline to the size of the recording area. And I can use this before I start to fit my PowerPoint. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so... I'm going to start scaling it out. Now what you notice is that as I'm enlarging the PowerPoint, it actually scales itself. So I need to just find a good compromise. And what I usually end up doing is just cutting off the edges. And if I do that, I usually end up with usually end up with a, a pretty good image. So this particular slide design is nice because it's got this white border which means I can position this to cut the edges off and you should be seeing now in the video capture a very clean image of this slide. Okay, So that's all there is to it. Once you've got it set up you could now start recording, run through and uh, you'll get everything nicely centered. I'm John Landells from Internet Marketing with John at www.johnlandells.com and I'll see you in my next video.